Yo, what is going on, guys? It is me, the TSG. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I fixed my Elgato HD60X. I just bought this today. I took it home, ran into some issues, and I didn't really see any videos on how to resolve these issues. And if you're someone like me and you're not very materialistic, you don't need nothing special. This is the tutorial for you. If you want high resolution and high FPS, then this might not be the video for you. All right, after you got your Elgato set up, you go to the Elgato software downloads and you download the 4K capture utility. And if you have that invalid output resolution screen, there's plenty of videos how to fix that. Now, if you open it and you get this screen here, this is simply because your USB is inside the wrong port. You need to put it inside the USB 3.0 port, which is a blue port. These can be found in the back of your PC or on the side of your laptop. But what I'm going to show you, so you might step in, you press record, you might get a prompt like this. Now all my drivers are up to date, so I don't see why I was getting this prompt. And then you'd be like, wow, I can't record. That's not the issue, at least for me. Now you might press okay, but it's gonna act like it's still recording. But if you don't see the numbers moving down here, that means you're not recording. So after you get the prompt, you might have to exit out and press quit recording and then exit out the app. Go back into the application. And once you go back in, you want to hit your setting. Now this is going to prop you up your preferences. Now you want to go to the recording tab. Now you can take your video encoder. Yours might be set to whatever graphics card you have. You want to change that to software built in. Now your format, your bit rate. If you have a high enough running PC, if your PC allows you to record up to 4K, you can do so, but you see like mine has an exclamation point right here. So I can't record that high. So you want to keep it down at 1080p 60. See if that works for you. Press apply. Okay. So now when you go to cord, now you see your numbers are moving. And the reason your numbers weren't moving before is because your encoder was set to your graphics card. And like, if you like mine, my graphics card is weird for some reason. Now moving on to once you recorded a clip, just to see if your resolution is how you want it to be. And if it's not lagging. For me, it was lagging at 1080p 60. So this is how it looked when I first started recording. As you can see, it's skipping very bad. It's embarrassing. This is not what you want. So we're gonna change that. Like I said, I don't have the best PC and you might have a worse one than me. But what worked for me, I went back into my settings. All I did was change my format down to one. I changed it to 1080p 30. Changing your bit rate will help too. Do not have your bit rate all the way up if you don't have a high performance PC. I put it at 13, that's what worked for me, but I would keep it in between eight and 12. So I'm gonna put mine at 13 and I would check reduce preview frame rate during recording. So you wanna click apply, then okay. Then you wanna record something and test it here. So I've already done this and this is how I know it works for me. Now, as you can see, there's no lag. This is the 108030 recording. I actually uploaded this to my YouTube channel. I viewed it, the quality looked good. It looked better than my actual old recording now that I have a new HD Elgato capture. If you can go higher, then go higher if it's not lagging, but all you want is the best performance. If you don't want high quality, you want high quality in the best performance. I'll take performance over quality any day and what you don't want to do you don't want to run your pc too hard if it's lagging that means your pc can't handle it so the more you go down the better your performance will be and the better your pc will hold and promise you'll think you'll be thankful for it in the long run so that is going to do it for the video if you guys enjoyed this tutorial if it helped you out give me a like if you love WWE content, click subscribe. If you got any questions, drop them down below in the comment section. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.